multitask. Yes. yes, it's a multitasker. Yes, I, I, but you know, I think as a dancer or as a musician, when you are well versed with different forms of music, it's easier to to master an art. So you you know you need to know because if I have my musicians playing for me, mm -hmm. uh, I should be aware of how to instruct them to play. Yes. So for that, I need to know the music as well. So mm -hmm. it's it's an extra added education that you need to mm -hmm. uh, educate yourself so that you are. Um, you, you kind of get mastery in the art form. Mm -hmm. So, uh, dear viewers, as we wrap up our first segment, we would like to thank our guest, Achie uh, Shak, a fact dancer and actress. Thank you very much for joining us. And, thank you. Uh, thank you. It was very nice to meet you and know more about this very famous dance in India. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste. And we will be back after this very short break. From Ombo Temple, that lies 45 kilometers north to Aswan city, was built and dedicated to God Horwell or Horus the Great and God Sobek the Crocodile. The stones used to build this temple are sandstones brought from Silsila Mountains in the nearby quarries. This city called reached its peak during the Greek period when it was used as a training center for elephants used in the Greek army. But most importantly, it lies in the midway on the caravan route that joins between the eastern desert, the mines in the eastern desert, and the Nubian lands where the gold comes from. So the name Kom Ombo means the golden hill. Kom Ombo Temple is the only temple in Egypt that's dedicated to two gods equally, each with his own family. The two tribes share the temple that's almost split into halves with an imaginary border. Naturally, each god has his own sanctuary. The double sanctuaries exist on the axis of the temple straight from the gates. They're almost completely destroyed, but are marked with the black granite altars that still sit in the middle of each sanctuary. They were for the rest of the sacred parks which contained the golden statues of the two gods, Sobek and Horwell. The divine revelation has played an important role in the culture of the ancient world in general and in the ancient Egyptian culture in particular. It was a breakout in cases of despair and the answer to corrupt judgment. One of the places of consulting with the gods was a sanctuary where a small chamber existed behind it. Since the sanctuary in Komombo is destroyed, the back room was exposed. It's where the priest who acted as a medium hid to play the role of the god and answered back the people's prayers and pleads. A hollow channel joined between the hidden chamber and the sanctuary. It allowed the voice of the priest to reach the one who asked the revelation standing in the sanctuary. At that moment, he is supposed to be the voice of God who is saying a decision which the appealer hoped to be in his favor. Silence would mean a rejection to the plea. The double sanctuaries were built during the reign of Ptolemy VI. These chambers behind the sanctuaries were built as living quarters for the priests who were serving God Sobek and God Horwell in the temple and playing the role of the revelation was considered one of their duties but only performed by a first-degree priest who was allowed to act as a medium.